This video is going to show you how to export Keynote to a .mov file. So you've created the template, you've changed property images and property text, um, you've played it through, you're happy with the timings, and now you want to export it to a video. Well, Keynote makes this pretty easy, but there's a few things that you should be aware of. So the first thing you want to do is click on File, Export, QuickTime. So when the box appears, you have some options. Playback uses manual advance. This allows the video to be created according to the timings that are already set up for each slide, and this is the one you want to use. Playback uses fixed timing. That means the video will be created using the same fixed duration for each slide, for example, five seconds, and each build or animation effect within each slide will be the same fixed duration, for example, two seconds. So basically, these settings are going to override what's already been set up with the templates. The sort of only advantage of using this setting is that the video will be created to include any audio, any sound files that are included in the presentation, if you click on the audio box. But it does mess up the uh, pre-made transitions and timings. So it's better to use manual advance. But unfortunately, with this, Keynote doesn't include the audio within the .mov file when you export using Manual Advance. It creates a separate MOV file as a soundtrack, but at least you get to keep the original timings, which I think is a lot better. So the thing to do is export to video using the Manual Advance, making sure the audio box is not checked, and in the Formats drop-down box, I usually change it to custom rather than full quality large. A new options box appears and you can adjust the settings. So the frame rate is 30. You adjust that by clicking on settings, making sure that's on 30. You've got the up and down arrow keys here. And generally keep everything else the same. Make sure that um, you have best quality. You can have it a lower quality and it'll be quicker, but I think it's better to, to have a higher quality one. Uh, once you're happy with that, click on OK, and then click on Next. Keynote's now going to ask you where you want to save the file. Then you click on Export, and the export process begins. And as you see, a small preview window pops up, and it shows you the progress of the video. It does look a bit jumpy when it's rendering, but the finished file should be fine. Now, the good thing about not including the soundtrack or background music when you export to video is that when you use a third-party tool such as iMovie, you can add in fade-ins and fade-outs, and it gives it a more polished finish rather than the music just suddenly ending with the presentation. And that's basically how you um, export Keynote to video to a .mov file.